Scion was a designer and manufacturer of mobile handheld computers for commercial and industrial applications. The company was headquartered in London, England with major operations in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada and additional company offices in Europe, the United States, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. It was a public company listed on the London Stock Exchange LSE, PON, and was once a constituent of the FTSE 100 Index. Scion's operational business was formed in September 2000 from a merger of Scion and Canadian-based Technologics Inc. and was a global provider of solutions for mobile computing and wireless data collection. The group's products and services include rugged mobile hardware, secure wireless networks, robust software, professional services and support programs. Scion works with its clients in the area of new and emerging technologies including image capture, voice recognition and RFID. Scion has customers in more than 80 countries around the world, as well as operations in 14 countries. Formed in 1980, Scion achieved its first successes as a consumer hardware company that developed the revolutionary Scion Organizer as well as a whole range of more advanced, clamshell design personal digital assistants. Scion closed, or disposed of, all its previous operations and is now focused on rugged mobile computing solutions. It withdrew from the consumer devices marketplace in 2001. It was announced on 15 June 2012 that Motorola Solutions had agreed to buy the company for $200 million. History Early development Scion was established in 1980 as a software house with a close relationship with Sinclair Research. The company developed games and other software for the ZX81 and ZX Spectrum home computers, released under the Sinclair Scion brand. Scion's games for the ZX Spectrum included chess, checkered flag, flight simulation, and the Horus series. Early software releases for the ZX Spectrum included titles such as VU Calc, VU File, and VU3D, along with dozens of other titles. The company name is an acronym standing for Potter Scientific Instruments, after the company's founder, David Potter. The acronym SI was already in use elsewhere in the world, so ON was added to make the name Scion unique. David Potter remained managing director until 1999 and was chairman of the company until late 2009. A world of mouth legend also says Elaine, David's wife, after previous venture, gave the venture's name Potter Scientific Investment or Nothing. In early 1983, Sinclair approached Scion regarding the development of a suite of office applications for the forthcoming Sinclair QL personal computer. Scion were already working on a project in this area and the QL was launched in 1984, bundled with Quill, Archive, Abacus and Easel, respectively a word processor, database, spreadsheet and business graphics application. These were later ported to MS-DOS, collectively called PC4, or Exchange in an enhanced version. The Scion Organizer 1984 also marked Scion's first foray into hardware, the Scion Organizer, an early handheld computer, in appearance resembling a pocket calculator with an alphanumeric keyboard. In 1986, the vastly improved Scion Organizer 2 was released, and was assembled by Speedboard Assembly Services. Its success led the company into a decade-long period of Scion computer and operating system development. It included a simple-to-use database programming language, OPL, which sparked a large independent software market. In 1987, Scion began development of its SIBO 16-bit organizer 
family of devices and its own new multitasking operating system called EPOC to run its third generation product, laptops MC, industrial handhelds HC and Workabout and PDA Series 3 products. It is often rumored that EPOC stands for electronic piece of cheese. However Kali Myers, who was Symbian's CEO from founding until 2002, said in an interview that it stood for «Epic» and nothing more. This development effort produced the clamshell QWERTY-based Scion Series 3 Palmtops 1993-98, which sold in the hundreds of thousands, and the Scion MC Series laptops, which sold poorly compared to the DOS-based laptops of the era. A second effort, dubbed Project Protea, produced the Scion Series 5 for sale in 1997, a completely new product from the 32-bit hardware upwards through the OS, UI, and applications. It is still remembered for its high-quality keyboard which, despite its size, allowed for touch typing. However, the new feel of the product, and the removal of certain familiar quirks, alienated loyal Series 3 users, who tended to stick with their PDAs rather than upgrade. In 1999, Scion released the Scion Series 7, which was much like a larger version of the Series 5, but with a double-size VGA resolution screen that featured 256 colors the Series 5 had a half VGA screen with 16 gray shades. It was followed by the very similar Scion netbook. Scion was being challenged by the arrival of cheaper PDAs such as the Palm Pilot, and Pocket PCS running Microsoft's Windows CE, and in 2003, Scion released a netbook pro running Windows CE.NET 4.2 instead of EPOC. Software. The 32-bit EPOC developed by Project Protea resulted in the eventual formation of Symbian Limited in June 1998 in conjunction with Nokia, Ericsson and Motorola. The OS was renamed the Symbian Operating System and was envisioned as the base for a new range of smartphones. Scion gave 130 key staff to the new company and retained a 31% shareholding in the spun-out business. The Symbian operating system as of 2007 powered around 125 million mobile phones such as the Sony Ericsson P900 series. The development of new and updated products by Scion slowed after the Symbian spin-off. Other products failed or had limited success. A Scion Siemens GSM device, a Series 5 based STB, the Wavefinder DAB radio, an attempt to add Dragon's speech recognition software to a PDA. Ericsson cancelled a Series 5 MX derived smartphone project in 2001. Scion had sold its sole manufacturing plant in 1999 and started to withdraw from its PDA markets in late 2001, shedding 250 of 1,200 staff and writing off £40 million. The PDA, which was once a niche market, had become a global horizontal marketplace where it was difficult for Scion to compete. The final blow for Scion's organizer and PDA business came in January 2001 when Motorola pulled out of a joint project with Scion, Samsung, and Parthus, to create Odin, an ARM based PDA phone. In 2000, Scion acquired Techlogix in Canada for £240 million and merged its business to business division, Scion Enterprise, with the newly acquired company. Techlogix was rebranded Scion Techlogix. This division now forms the core of Scion PLC's business. In 2002, Scion created a new division called Scion Software. This business developed push email solutions for Symbian smartphones, Microsoft Exchange, and Lotus Notes. This business was sold to Visto USA in 2003. In 2004, Scion announced its intention to dispose of the company's remaining Symbian shareholding to Nokia, as they no longer regarded it as a core part of their strategy. Topic 2010 onward. 
Scion intends to tailor and customize modular variants of its products through its online community, Ingenuity Working. Launched in March 2010, Ingenuity Working had more than 35,000 visitors per month within its first six months. In January 2011, the company refreshed its corporate identity and developed a new logo, which it describes as an icon. It claims it did this to demonstrate its new business model in action and to signal that it is no longer a consumer products company, which was symbolized by the old Scion logo. At the same time it removed Techlogix from its operating company name to create a clear, unifying, global identity. Topic Scion and the term Netbook Scion registered the trademark Netbook in various territories, including European Union and U.S. trademark 75215401, which was applied for on 18 December 1996 and registered by USPTO on 21 November 2000. They used this trademark for the Scion Netbook product, discontinued in November 2003, and from October 2003, the Netbook Pro, later also discontinued. Intel started using the term Netbook in March 2008 as a generic term to describe small laptops that are designed for wireless communication and access to the Internet, believing they were not offering a branded line of computers here and see no naming conflict. In response to the growing use of the term, on the 20 23rd of December 2008 Scion Technologics sent cease and desist letters to various parties including enthusiast websites demanding they no longer use the term netbook in early 2009 Intel sued Scion Technologics US and Canada and Scion UK in the federal court seeking a cancellation of the trademark and an order enjoining Scion from asserting any trademark rights in the term netbook a declarative judgment regarding their use of the term attorneys fees costs and disbursements and such other and further relief as the court deems just and proper. The suit was settled out of court, and on June 2, 2009 Scion announced that the company was withdrawing all of its trademark registrations for the term netbook and that Scion agreed to waive all its rights against third parties in respect of past, current or future use of the term. Similar marks were rejected by the USPTO citing a likelihood of confusion under Section 2 d, including G Netbook US. Trademark 77527311 rejected the 31st of October 2008 MSI's Wind Netbook US Trademark 77580272 and Kobe Electronics Kobe Netbook US Trademark 77590174 rejected the 13th of January 2009 Topic. Scion and Linux Scion PLC had a lengthy, but distant, interest in Linux as an operating system on its electronic devices. In 1998, it supported the Linux 7K project that had been initiated by Ed Bailey at Red Hat, which was to port Linux to its Series 5 personal computer. The project was named after the Cirrus Logic PS7110 chip of the Series 5. Although this project was one of the earliest attempts to port Linux to a handheld computer, it did not come to fruition for Scion. The project soon transitioned to an informal open source project at Calcaria.net that kept the name Linux 7K. After the project transitioned again to SourceForge.net, the project's name was changed to a more general name, Scilinux and more recently to OpenGen. The project has developed Linux kernels and file systems for the Revo, Series 5 and 5MX, and Series 7 and Netbook. In 2003–04, Scion Technologics and its founder David Potter expressed interest in Linux as the operating system for its devices as it divested from Symbian. However, the only result of that interest was Linux as the operating system on a limited number of custom netbook pros designed for a hospital setting. The embeddable Linux kernel subset project has produced a small subset of Linux that runs on Scion Series 3 PDAs. 
Topic PDA Scion Organizer and Scion Organizer 2 Scion HC Scion Series 3, 3A, 3C and 3MX Scion Sienna Scion Series 5, 5MX and 5MX Pro Scion Revo Scion Netbook Scion Netpad Scion Series 7 Scion Techlogix Netbook Pro Windows CE Scion Workabout Scion Icon All these PDAs except the Scion Netpad have a small keyboard, which accepts the organizer, HC and Workabout was of the standard QWERTY layout, or a regional variation thereof. Laptops Scion MC200 Scion MC400 Scion MC400 Word Scion MC600 Dose 